today we will learn about ultrasonic machining process ultrasonic machining is a non traditional machining process it is also known as usm and it is grouped under the mechanical group non traditional machining processes so we start with the ultrasonic machining this is a vise on which work piece is mounted and this is a brittle material of the work piece and this is the signal generator that is followed with power amplifier and this is connected with the magnostructive transducer and the ultrasonic vibrations are produced by transducer and this transducer is driven by the signal generator and which is followed by the power amplifier and the transducer for usm work on the following principle piezoelectric effect magnostatic effect and electrostatic effect but the magnostatic transducer are most popular and robust amongst all and this magnostatic transducer that is connected with the concentrator or horn and the horn or concentrator is a wave guide which amplifies and concentrate the vibration to the tool from transducer and the transducer which generate that ultrasonic vibration and here horn or concentrator can be of different shape like tapered or conical exponential and stepped so here we are using the tapered or conical and machining of tapered or stepped horn is much easier as compared to the exponential one and the next one it basically amplifies the vibration up to 15 to 50 micron meter and next part is the tool tool that is connected with the horn and tool tip must have the high resistance and fatigue strength for machining glass tungsten carbide copper and chromium silver tools are recommended for that if silver and chromium nickel tool are used for machining sintered carbides and now the abrasive sundry that is passing with the help of a nozzle and generally boron silicon carbide and aluminum oxide abrasive are used and abrasive sundry is usually composed of 50% by volume fine abrasive grain 100 to 800 gram number of boron carbide aluminum oxide and silicon carbide in 50% of water so now as we can see here here is the oscillation motion on the tool when magnostatic transducer it produces the vibration and it starts to rotate and here abrasive sundry that is pumped through the nozzle close to the tool work piece interface this is at the rate of 25 liter per minute and here a static pressure is applied to tool work piece interface that maintains the abrasive sundry the abrasive particles are therefore hammered into the work piece surface and cause chipping of fine particles from here and the abrasive particles as they indent the work material would remove the same and particularly if the work material is brittle due to crack initiation propagation and brittle fracture of the brittle fracture of the material and hence usm is mainly used for machining brittle materials which are poor conductor of electricity and thus cannot be put that can thus cannot be produced processed by electrochemical or edm here are some limitations of usm it has low material removal rate and low depth of hole but it has some applications like ultrasonic drilling ultrasonic machining engraving on glass and used for machining round square irregular shape holes and surface impression also subscribe to get more updates and universe double 2 you may like share and comment give your suggestions if required thank you have a nice day